So I tried to explore, explore some different 3D patterns because when we make some structure, the, the mechanical property and behavior can be uh, modulated by the inherent materials, materials property, as well as the, the structure in, in internal architecture. And I took a look at the auxetic. The auxetic is uh, as known as the metamaterials, that is the trans transformable structures that have a negative Poisson ratio. That means when we stretch the auxetics, they become thicker perpendicular to the applied force. And because of this uh, unique mechanical behavior, it, it can achieve the advanced performance characteristics like imp impact energy absorption, indentation reg resistance, and synclastic curvature. But what I was what I focused on the auxetic is that the high possibility that we can achieve high flexibility and elastic resilience due to their deformation mechanism by hinging or rotation of the intersecting joint in the network. So I explored a lot of uh, 3D auxetic patterns, but yeah, all 3D auxetic patterns that I found was not satisfactory to me. So I decided to develop new 3D auxetic pattern. Yeah, in terms of the large volume soft tissue engineering, yes, we still have significant challenge due to the limitations in matching the complex properties of these soft tissues, including the flexibility, elasticity, and nonlinear mechanical behavior. So my hypothesis is that if we implement the architected auxetic in 3D printing of a PCL, we can create clinically applicable, clinically viable advanced 3D implant with enhanced mechanical and mass transport performance. And this is the 3D auxetic pattern that I developed newly. Yeah, as you can see, this is a cube form with a symmetrical arrangement of orthogonally patterned strut with a superior cross section of 500 micrometer strut width. And it has a lot of the joints that the strut intersect each other to absorb the external forces. So I 